Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We welcome you all to this unusual place. We like to begin the program by calling Eva Abbe to lead us in open prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we close our eyes as we sing this song? Blessed. Hallelujah. Blessed. Hallelujah. Blessed. Be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, blessed. Hallelujah, blessed. Be the name of the Lord. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. Oh, we give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. You are wonderful. You are worthy, oh. Oh. Ik ons 
onze harten zullen zetten in de naam van Jezus. Bid a final farewell to our dear son, brother, friend, colleague, bright Ampom, who passes away on the 6th of June 2021. On behalf of the father and the mother and the entire family, Amen. Amen. And to our dear brother, bright Ampom. We will say in Akan, what the Kaya do. Amen. At this juncture, we would like to take some few songs, and after that, we will proceed. Yesu me jefo ne wo me reba. Oh, oh, Benjamin Anaba, Church of Pentecost, Rotterdam District. 
We are some all the way to be with us. Shall we welcome him? Pastor, you are welcome. We also have Pastor Owusu Efriye Richard. He is the host pastor of the Mark District. Pastor, you are welcome. We are blessed this afternoon. In our gathering, we have the national head who is overseeing the whole Church of Pentecost in the Netherlands. He is here with us and the wife. With all humility, I would like to introduce to you Apostle and Mrs. Obin Isham, National Head of Church of Pentecost, Holland. We travel all the way from Amsterdam to be with us. Amen. Without much ado, we would like to zoom straight to the program and we would like to listen to the word of exhortation. We invite Pastor Benjamin Wadi, and Pastor Grace Chapel, to give us word of exhortation. Very short. Thank you, Pastor. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we thank you for our gathering today. We commit our gathering into your hands. We pray that everything that we said or do here will bring glory and honor unto your name. As we have come to say friendly word to our brother, our uncle, our nephew, I pray, O God, that today, in this sobering moment, we'll be able to consider the journey that is set before us as we gather together in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I would like to read from Hebrews chapter 9, verse 127, which recalls that it is appointed unto man once to die. And after the death comes judgment. Today I want to talk to you about the ultimate appointment. That every human being, as you are sitting here today, standing outside wherever you are, there is an appointment that we will have. Appointment is not something new to all of us. We have many different forms of appointments. Sometimes we have an appointment with our doctors, we have an appointment for a job. But there are four things that make an appointment successful. And the first one is preparation. In order for every appointment to be successful, the one who is going to the appointment must prepare. And in this day of life, all of us were here to prepare for this ultimate appointment. Physically, when we're going to see our doctors, we prepare. Maybe for a bad news or for a good news. But no matter what it is, it is a preparation. And in this day of life, as all of us were sitting here today, we are like flowers today, we are here tomorrow, we are not. But in between the day that we are shining as a flower and the day you will not be, what kind of preparation have you done for your soul? All of us here prepared before coming. We did for the life before him in this great day of appointment. My third thing is the means. How do we go to our appointment? Sometimes we go by public transport, sometimes we uh, drive ourselves, sometimes we are lifted to this place. Some of us will go naturally, some of us will go by plane crash, some of us will go by accident, some of us will go by sickness. Even recently, Corona has taught us that some of us also departed to this appointment by means of Corona. So the means to get to this appointment is not as important as meeting that appointment. And finally, I want to talk to you about the time or the season. Every appointment has a time. And every soul on this earth, you have a time to depart. But the mystery is this. You may have an appointment with your doctor at 9.30 a.m. That one you do. But the mystery of life is this. That in this ultimate appointment, you don't know when the time or the season will come. Today has been the time and the season of my nephew, my son, somebody that I saw him growing up to be today. Somebody that always called me, doesn't call me pastor, he said to me, I will never call you a pastor, you are my uncle. He always calls me uncle. 
This is his time. Tomorrow may be my time. When will be your time? That is a mystery all of us will never solve until we are there. May God bless all of, all of us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to invite Pastor Anaba to say a prayer. Father, we want to thank you, Lord, this evening or this morning for the gift of life. Thank you for your word. Your word is always life, always powerful, and always spirit. I pray the Lord as the word has come forth. Let your word find the root in our heart. Give us the grace to apply in order for your purpose and plans concerning our life to come to pass. That when this earth is already destroyed, we shall have a beautiful home. We thank you, we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We will take some few songs and then we will proceed. We invite Edda Abbott to lead us. When peace like a river I turn and at my way When sorrow like sea billows roll oh, Thou hast taught me to say, Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well. Oh,
as they are coming, please, the technicians, prepare the documentary. See that. Started the school during a princess getting an elementary school and was not entirely interested in school in his younger years. And it was evident through the zero score of 503. Mind you, the minimum score is 500, while the maximum score is 550. Despite the low zero score, he was admitted, admitted at the West Harbor College to take a secondary education and completed it successfully. He decided to further his studies and started a trade and commerce program at South King in Notre Dame and completed it successfully after three years. However, this was not enough for Bright. He had to and would continue to battle and he chose to further his studies. He enrolled at the Hague University of Applied Science for the program Bachelor of Small Business and Retail Management and completed it successfully. Bright became a tutor in his third year and helped first and second year students who found the course difficult. His warrior spirit ensured that if he went for something, he could make the impossible possible. This was his motto in life, fight to you drop. The beauty in this is that he could apply it to all areas of life, even on the football field. Bright became interested in football to his older cousins and played at Fay Fay Oriel Blank and Half Fay Fay Lacotte Udenha. The latter club is where Bright was covered by Scott Dalton and he played in a team with players like 2004, but opted for a return to his own club, half a fake black quartier, after one season. Here, Bright was immediately moved from B Junior to A1. He was quickly noticed by half a and safely quick and was asked to come and play there in the A1 team in 2007. 
He quickly made it to the first team as a junior. During his period in senior selection, Fred had a probational period at three professional clubs. These were at FK, Flip Beach, and Czech Republic, FC Sula, and RFC Ajax Amsterdam. Unfortunately, the terms of the contract were not favorable. In 2011, Bright left the first division of Quick for the main class of the AC Dart. He played there till the 2013-2014 season. At the time, the main class was the second highest amateur level. In the 2014-2015 season, he returned to the familiar nest at Quick. After two main class seasons at Quick, he left for the new Saturday third division at FC Line Cohos in 2016-2017. After a year in the third division and a year in the main class, Bright returned to his old club at Quick in the third division in 2018. He played there for one season, after which he was signed by main class team Officer Boys 2019-2020. And this was the same club for which he would also play in the new season, 2021-2022. Wright always spoke with passion and praise for the clubs he played for, his teammates, and the people involved with the clubs. That was Wright. Wright was engaged in other businesses as well. He was a partner and founder of Easy Service a company that delivered dry cleaning and laundry, clothing and shoe repairs, and smartphone and tablet repairs. He was also a partner of Funky Shades, an eyewear company. Brett was also, he had also another business which was called Aquaba Smile, which was a teeth whitening agent. And this is very ironic because his name is Bright. And with this business, his aim was to bring a bright smile to other people. Bright was a driven, passionate young man with a great source of energy. When he entered a place, he entertained the public by cracking jokes, dancing, singing, and that made everyone smile. He was an atmosphere shifting person and a family man. He always had good vibes wherever he found himself. Further, everything good right did, he did it for his family. He was also the apple of his father and mother's eye. Bright wanted to build his legacy, and this was therefore the source of motivation in his life. A mighty tree has indeed fallen. We are going to miss you, Bright Uncle. May your soul rest in perfect.
Like Job. After a few hours, we will never see right again. Then you know this other way. After a few hours, the young Katamiswa, you will never move. You will never see him here on this earth again. We are here today. We are gone tomorrow. Make peace, not war. We will continue with the tributes. We will call his best friend Jacobit with his right. I read. 